is raining out again. You get some light in here. Yesterday it stormed and rained and just out of the, it, it said it was gonna be mostly sunny today. <laughs> out of the clear blue sky. And guess what? It is cold. I actually put on some of my jean shorts, left a nice um, long sleeve top on, but my goodness, again, again with the rain. Okay, so let's see what kind of, I feel like we're in some jewelry. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I want to show you a couple things. So this is going to be a good episode. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Let's see. Let's try another one. Hmm. Wow, let's see this one. I don't think I've ever worn this. I've never shown you this one. I got a blue. I love this bracelet. It's real lightweight. It's just plastic. Let's see if I can get this on. It's just an inside day, isn't it? Wow. Yes, I'm in. Oh, this is nice. I'm in Flagstaff. Let's see if you like this one. It's sort of sea green, blue, a little bit of blue here, and then it turns into a, a sea green. Yeah. My goodness, yeah. I'm even going to put on, <laughs> it looks like Christmas time, doesn't it? Put on some of this and a little bit of that. Yeah, it's just sort of a day where I'm going to talk to you. I think I'll make some tea also. Let's have some herbal tea. There we go. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> it's cold. It's getting colder in here by the minute, too. Let's see. I guess my earrings are okay. Let's see. Sometimes I just put my um, loops, my hoops, a little bit of a loop. Up, if you want to call it that, put it here. That way, like at night, I don't sleep with earrings, obviously. If it was just a little teeny post, I probably would. But I just kind of park that over here. That way in the morning, before I go to the gym, I can put on some earrings, right? And as far as... Hmm. I don't need anything big put on my new blue ring. Well, let's just wear some blue. No, no. You know what? I'm going to wear this. You know why? Because see that little right there? That matches that. What do you think? I know. I am so into jewelry. I went through a period in my life where I didn't wear jewelry at all. I gave it all to my kids. The good stuff and the, and the funny stuff. Like the fakey stuff, you know. This is just costume jewelry. Although this is a blue opal. Yeah, Paul bought this for me. Blue opal. Yeah. Somebody hit my car. That's how we get all them scratches. He's parked over here. That's how we get scratches. Yeah. You know, I was parked here first. He's the one that parked so close to me. And bam. Oh, well, I'm going to survive it, right? We got worse things going on in the world right now, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm all beautified, right? Let me get my, um, my toes. <laughs> you know, Seriously, I'll just show. I know. <laughs> Let me show my toes. I didn't wear um, those the high heels. I didn't wear high heels much. So I don't have that funny, you know, where the toe goes over. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I'm really happy about that. I'm glad I didn't wear this, like the stilettos that were, when, any shoe that goes down to a point. <sighs> no, it's uncomfortable. 
I don't like to um, screw up the. Sh I didn't want to screw up the shape of my sh of my feet. Okay. Well, let's see. He loved. But here I want to show you something. What I did was, let me show you. I took off all of my fairy lights that went around. So my ceiling looks a little bit neater, which I like. But I had these fairy lights and I thought, do I really want to put them back up? Do I really want to? No, no, I don't. So what I did was... It's kind of odd. It's one of those days. An inside day. I got the kind, I didn't know what what kind I, I ordered. I just needed knew I needed some more fairy lights. But this stops here, right? And then this cord goes out. But what happens is, the cord wants to bend a lot here, so I always put like um, duct tape, gorilla tape here, so that this cannot bend at the most crucial, a uh, fragile point right at the, the end of this thing. So it's kind of, yeah, it's a little bit um, bulky, but this will save it. What I did, oh, let me show you, this is one of those clips. And this is the back of my seat, my headrest. And it's it's cloth, you know, I'm not using it for anything else. So I got one of those clips. I've shown those clips before. It's got the, see those two prongs? And I can just make sure I can get this back in properly. To get them both in sometimes is to get them both in it equally. Okay. And then this is the clip. So I'm trying it out. I might move it again, but I've used it the last few nights and it really turned out well. Sometimes I just like to try new things. So I like to show them to you. So this sort of hangs down, but what I can do when I'm not using it is I just kind of park this on the top there and this too. So it just hangs down. But what I have is this, um, it's a kind of a small, I don't even know what the name of the company is because they never put it on here. It's like crazy. The people who made this never put their, <laughs> it's really cute. Um, but anyways, um, I can just put it here. Here, I keep my um, makeup and hair case, my beauty case here. It's a fishing tackle box, <laughs> but I use it for my hair and my makeup. So what I was doing at night was just parking this here. Taking this. There we go. Okay. And putting my, Lately, the fairy lights are a little bit different, but I got the red. Okay, and let me find a color that will work good there. That looks a little better. But it's got all these other different things that can fade. It's got, they're, they're just different. It's different than the other ones I've had. Sort of fades. What's this one? Some of them are pretty darn cool. Kind of weird. There we go. I like this one. It's called Wave. It sort of waves and then it twinkles. We'll leave that one on, okay? Okay. So I did want to show you this this way. 
turn this around. What happens is at night, all of my windows are covered up and I don't have the fairy lights anymore going around to distribute the light properly, right? So, and this, sometimes these kind of fade out. This one's about ready, yeah, it's about ready to die. Let me put this one up here. I need to plug this one in. Pink, okay. And so it's not up, but when I put this on, it really brightens up, but it doesn't make it so harsh. And then what I found that I could do is if I don't want this, because it really is bright, I can just take this, bring it down, and maybe park it here. It still gives me light, but it's not so, ah, uh, yeah. So I kind of like it. Let's turn this off. It's going to die. I got to remember to plug it in. Okay. Got my necklace on. Well, one thing I do want to talk about today is a cot. I was thinking about a cot. I remember somebody recently told me about a, a cot and it folds up into this little package and it's really, it's really fantastic. So I'll, I'll show you what I think, because I wasn't there. I wasn't there to see it. But the way they described it, I think this might be the one. They're not cheap, but they're not overly expensive either. And I was thinking, my sleeping bag is getting a little bit thin in the area where my butt goes, <laughs> you know, my hips. It's just kind of worn down. It's a minus 25, so it was very poofy. And I've tried to kind of poof it out a little bit, but I think I've just worn it down where I lay on my side and my hip kind of hits, hits this one area. Okay, well, and I've tried turning it around, but it, it almost hits the same spot. So I was thinking, well, I might want to buy a new uh, sleeping bag, maybe get a minus 35. And hopefully it's not so bulky, it will still fit in this side space, right? But then I thought when I was thinking about this cot, I was thinking about the cot. So I want to show you some different cots, some pictures of what I was looking at. You can kind of let me know what you think about them. And I'll actually number them so you can give me an idea what you think about them. This is the cot that I first talked about. It's lightweight. It's only like four pounds and it's low to the ground. And I could actually use this and put it together every night. Um, to you know, protect my back and protect my hips so I wouldn't just be laying on the ground. I do like that. This is number two. Um, the padding they said isn't as comfortable and as thick as um, it looks right here. But this would be perfect for a build out, to do a build out, or for me to take camping when I, do, when I wanna do solo camping in my tent. It looks comfortable. Number three, I chose this because it's extra wide. And if you're a side sleeper, I like to have pillows um, for my knees. And if it was really uh, narrow, I had, the pillows would just end up falling off. So I kind of contemplated this. This is number four, and this is so cool. The reviews say that this padding is so comfortable. This would be perfect for a build out or for me to take camping. Now, the legs are adjustable and the back is adjustable, but the legs, each leg is adjustable unto itself because um, it might be on uneven ground and that's pretty darn cool. It folds up really nice. So I would use this, if I was gonna get this, I would use this for camping. When I, I would take it out of storage with my tent and I would drive to where I want to go. Or you could use it for a build out. I will leave the links, the descriptions, the price, and the numbers in the video description. And I'll probably do it on the comments too and I'll pin it to comments so you can see exactly. And you can go look yourself and check it out. Why do a build out? 
you can put a cot out and then you can transform if you don't want your minivan to be a camper van all the time all you have to do is fold it up and go put it in your garage or your storage or whatever so i i just think that'd be a really good idea now what i would do is you have a cot you just have a cot you'd have to move some of this stuff back here if you were going to do a build out or put a cot out let me move my pillows turn that off you would want to not have these here you could maybe put this like here or maybe just have a couple of them you'd have to move this and maybe put it towards your towards this area but yeah you could have a cut and it could go all the way the back to the hatchback area and then you can put things under it and I think with the cots of the pictures you're looking at, I think that you would get a good idea of what would work that you could put things under, okay? Now, if you wanna do build out, I mean, they're so easy to do. You just get some wood or you get some of that, um, they're almost like little tight plastic stuff. It's very strong, but you can kind of put it together to make like, um, they're like almost like shelves, but you can turn them into like, you know, a, a, a bed. What I was thinking is if I could get like uh, that little cot and it only looks like it only, it stands about this high up the height. It's very small, but it is good if you're going to go camping and you have a tent and you want to sleep in your tent and um, you don't want to sleep on the ground, right? And you don't want to get one of those blow up mattresses. I'm telling you, they do not last and Walmart will not take them back. What they'll do is you can replace them, exchange them with another one, but you cannot take it back. I don't know why. So anyways, you just know that. And I'm kind of tired of that. I am carrying around a one of those um, blow up, they're, they're, it's a, it'll blow them up, the machine. But I was thinking with a little cot, I could actually just put it out. Yeah, I mean, I could put my sleeping bag on top of it and sleep. So let me know what you think about that idea. I mean, it's not a bad idea, actually. And that would kind of save save my hips because it is starting to get a little bit well I've had this for what six years now maybe it's time for something new I wouldn't mind trying it now what if I did get that cot well even if it didn't work out here putting it out you know what I can still use it when I'm camping in a tent I'm actually thinking about getting another Kodiak one when I go out by myself that I really am thinking about getting one of the smaller ones that I can put up by myself because you know that great big one that 10 by 14 it's way too um it's way too big for me it's too much for me to handle putting it up but I think I know that I've seen some videos where uh solo females are actually can put them up um solo and all by themselves and that way when I do um when I am solo I mean, I can actually do that. So interesting. I'm really thinking about, and you know what I'm thinking about? As far as getting anything, right now's the time to get it because, you know, things are just going to end up more expensive. With inflation, I'm telling you, I, that's why I tell you now to get your jackeries, get your solar panels, get um, your USB fans get them now because every time I check up on some prices it's a little bit higher I mean it's the same thing going on in the grocery stores things just keep um, rising in price so that's my plan I've got I wanted to show you my new <laughs> idea for a uh, fairy light where to put it and actually what I've done is I've actually moved it around two or three times I just think that that might be a good place right there and so that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you a few things, what's going on around here. Um, and next time I think I'll, I'll just show you. I've got more room in here because I have storage and I've got three major bins in my storage. And 
I mean, I can go there every other day or I can go every day or twice a day or three times a day if I want to, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But I can go as often as I want and um, I can exchange things or get some food out of the one bin. Oh, I forgot to get that. But I can park the stuff that I don't use and I can open up some space for myself. Oh my gosh. And so I've really been cozy in here. Really have, I really enjoy it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Just a little bit of chit chat about um, the cots, the fairy lights, some ideas, and we got the rain and somebody banged my car. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It really does help. And a lot of you are subscribing. So thank you. Thank you. And that way, you, you know, that way when, and turn on notifications, that way when I have a new video that you're going to uh, get notification that, oop, there's a video up. And I've got the book, How to Live in a Minivan, in the Minivan Leeway. And it's on Amazon. Now, go to minivanlee.com for net gators. It's cold. This is the season, folks. Better grab them. And thank you so much for um, the orders that I have been getting. A lot of you have been ordering right and left. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a lifetime supply. So go ahead and get your... <laughs> Go ahead and get your your neck gaiters. And I have exercise videos. And I do have some jewelry. I haven't put this on because I kind of like it myself. <laughs> I know. And uh, But there is some jewelry on there that you might be interested in. Looks like it stopped raining. It's really wet and cold out there, though. <laughs> I love you guys. There you go. Till tomorrow, everybody, with a new topic, new something to show you, and love to send you away. Bye, everybody. Bye.